Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So this week's video is going to be slightly different. I've never attempted to film anything like this before but I thought this week I would show you what I eat in a week at university. Not quite sure how many times I just said week in that sentence. I asked in my last video if you guys were interested in a what I eat in a day video and lots of you said it would be better if I filmed it over the course of a whole week. So that is what I'm going to be attempting to do today. A few disclaimers before we start because I know on these videos you do get a lot of questions and a lot of people pick people up on things but I am currently pescatarian and even though I do eat dairy I do try and cut down on it most of the time. I'm also obviously not a nutritionist and I am at university, I am a student and even though I like to think that I eat healthier than the average student I know I probably don't have the healthiest diet ever and I do allow myself treats, I'm not on any sort of diet or anything so. I'm a creature of habit though so I'm not sure how much variety <laughs> there is going to be in this video. I tend to eat similar things every day for breakfast and lunch. It's only really my dinners that vary but I hope still this video gives you a little bit of inspiration for some student meals if you're at university or sick form or whatever or just gives you more of an idea of what it's like cooking for yourself at university. So this morning Max has actually just left. Max was here all weekend and I'm pretty sure we managed to eat our entire body weight in carbs. We had a lot of carbs this weekend. We went out to eat multiple times so this week and especially today I want to eat clean because I feel like a lump currently. So this morning I just made myself a smoothie for breakfast. Normally I would have more than that. I know a smoothie is not a big breakfast but I'm honestly just so full from everything that we've eaten this weekend that I just wanted something quite light so that is what I made this morning. Morning. disgusting my hair looks but I'm gonna oh my god it's I forget how noisy it is in the kitchen when I film like you literally can't hear anything about to leave for my seminar and I'm just gonna have a baby bells snack I bought these but I don't think I'd actually buy them again because I bought them because they've got five grams of protein in them but obviously it is dairy and I just can't get over like how processed they taste but it doesn't taste like cheese it just tastes like weird plastic but really awkward angle but me and Maeve have just walked to Aldi and back so I thought I'd just give you a little food haul. The shop only actually came to £11 which I think is really good. The most expensive thing being the salmon. I think the salmon was about £3. Fish is so expensive and especially salmon but this should be two or three portions for me so. I then got some Mexican style rice because this is really nice with tofu actually I found. I got these crisps. I had one of these on the way back and they're actually really really nice and I think they've got pea protein in them which is good. Then got some carrots. I know this is in plastic wrapping, but Aldi was really not killing the game with like loose fruit and veg. They didn't have any loose carrots. So I got these ones mainly because I'm lazy and they're a good alternative to crisps. Then got some red pepper hummus. Literally the elite red pepper hummus. I just laugh because I can just see myself laugh. <laughs> uh, and then I got these because my mum used to buy these and I saw them and I used to really, really like them. They're just like cacao bars i don't know they're basically like healthy chocolate bars i then got some spinach because i'm gonna use this in my curry tonight also use it in smoothies and then i got some kale because i want to make some kale crisps my mum has made them before so i need to ask her about the recipe but i thought that could be fun and then i just got this salad as well because i thought that might be a good lunch option for tomorrow. Whenever I buy loose salad leaves, I know I've bought spinach and kale, but I never seem to get through the bag, so I thought that was a good option, even though I know it is excessive packaging and stuff, but there we go, that is my haul. So I'm actually really annoyed at myself because this evening I was gonna make a chickpea and spinach curry. I had the recipe, I had the ingredients, and I was really looking forward to it, but 
I just went to make it now and realized I have not soaked my chickpeas and I have dried chickpeas not the ones in the can so there's not a lot I can really do with them if I haven't soaked them already so I've put those in some water now and I'm just gonna have to make that curry tomorrow but I've had to resort to some freezer food today so I have these veggie like lattice things I don't know I got them from Aldi a long time ago and I just have never eaten them so I've stuck one of them in the oven and then I also ate that salad that I had from Aldi I've just had that now because the thing in the oven takes like half an hour and I'm not gonna lie I'm starving because I haven't really eaten as much as I normally do today I normally eat a lot more than this as you'll probably see throughout the week but I've just eaten that salad and I'm also gonna do a little can of beans with the cauliflower lattice thing i'm not even sure what i'm cooking at the moment but i'm gonna have a little can of beans as well this is just the reduced um the no added sugar one and it's like the little one so yeah good morning it is tuesday it's currently about 20 past 7 in the morning it's so early but i'm about to head to the gym i'm just gonna eat a banana quickly and also make myself a coffee because i don't like to eat loads before i go to the gym but i find if i don't have anything then i can't do as much as if i do eat something so i'm just gonna have a little something for some energy currently about 5 p.m. We're having an early dinner tonight because I forgot that we're going to some sort of pub quiz tonight. So I'm gonna to attempt to make my curry. My chickpeas have sort of soaked. I don't really know what they're supposed to look like, but I think they have definitely expanded. But this is a lot of chickpeas. Is that for one portion? Yeah, it's supposed to be for one portion and I already halved the amount that you were supposed to have in them So I'm really not sure how this is gonna turn out But I suppose I don't have to use all of them and I do need to pick out some bad ones still But we're gonna see how this goes because I haven't made this recipe before but it looks fairly simple Like it's mainly just sort of like curry paste and tomato and I've already actually cut the onion and the garlic last night before I realized that I didn't soak my chickpeas, so this is already all pre-cut, so we'll see how it goes. This is the finished product. I've had an absolute nightmare cooking this because the chickpeas took so long to cook. I didn't realize that you actually had to cook them beforehand, so I just sort of like slung them in the curry and hoped for the best. And they're quite hard, but I'm hoping it's gonna be okay. I googled it and you're not really supposed to eat hard chickpeas, but they're not super hard. Like you can chew them quite easily, but I've just defrosted this bit of sourdough bread as well because I was gonna do rice, but I'm not really feeling it now. I'm not that hungry, so this is tonight's dinner hope i don't get food poisoning <laughs> good morning it is wednesday today excuse my appearance i've literally got up and i haven't done anything to make myself look presentable but i have just made breakfast i'm going to the gym slightly later than usual today we're going at 11 so i made myself a slightly bigger breakfast than i normally would i've got porridge with some chia seeds and i've also cut up a banana on top and as usual i've also made myself a coffee so i'm just gonna chill and eat this now but last night i actually forgot to film any clips of it but after the pub quiz we did actually end up going to mcdonald's i feel like this happens every time we drink but i actually only got a spicy veggie wrap i was quite disciplined and a veggie wrap is definitely not the worst thing you could get at mcdonald's in the grand scheme of things it's actually quite good like it's quite low calorie of course it's mackie's like it's still not going to be healthy but it's definitely not the worst thing that you could get and i'm not entirely sure why we got it to be honest because we weren't like particularly drunk or anything i was like i was completely sober and turns out mackie's really doesn't hit the same as it does after a night out so that was low-key disappointing because i really enjoy a veggie wrap normally but just thought i'd update you on that because i don't want to miss anything out of these videos and obviously that is a slightly unhealthy thing and i feel like so far i have been very healthy this week Me and Maeve have 
have just been to Morrison's, food shop number two of the week. I, mean, I It seems like a lot, but to be fair, both of our shops this week have been fairly small because I prefer to do like more smaller shops and doing like one huge shop, especially if you're getting fresh stuff because fresh stuff goes out of date so quickly. But I just thought I'd give you another quick haul. Got some more tofu. Uh, I've got mushrooms because we're actually making or going to attempt to make our own pizzas tonight so I've got pita breads in the freezer and then we've bought tomato puree and we've got the Vio Life vegan cheese and we're gonna try to make pizzas so I'll film that later hopefully that goes okay but I've got mushrooms to put on them and we're also gonna put onions and peppers although I'm not sure if I've got a pepper or not then I got a bottle of wine because it's actually Maeve's birthday tomorrow and we're going out so this is for me and Max before we go out. Then have the Violife cream cheese because I ran out and that's so good with salmon. Kind of a contradictory like duo because obviously it's vegan cheese and then salmon which definitely isn't vegan but you know what it tastes nice. Um, then these crisps are for Max. I then got another loaf of sourdough bread because I ran out and this one's actually really nice. It's by the Polish bakery. And then lastly, got some mini cucumbers. I know once again, this is kind of like excessive plastic packaging, but these are really nice with hummus as like an alternative to crisps. And that was my food shop. This one was slightly more expensive. I think it came to about 20 pounds, but to be fair, this bottle of wine is about seven pound 50. So that would have counted for most of it. I've just had a very exciting delivery too. I know there's like controversy to do with protein, but BND, Grace Bev Beverly, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Grace Beverly's brand came out with some vegan protein powder. So I thought I'd try it because I've tried protein powder before and I do quite like it, but I know that it can be quite like full of chemicals. However, this one doesn't seem to be that full of chemicals. There's only five, yeah, there's only five ingredients in it. So I'm gonna try and make a protein out of this now. There's 22 grams of protein in like a serving of this. So hopefully it will taste nice with oat milk, but I'll give you a little review. I just got a whole lump. Interesting. Do you want to try? Yeah. Oh. It does smell like That is not cream. what I expected it to taste like. So my last protein powder was salted caramel. And that tasted very different. <laughs> Maybe was not a fan. It tastes weird, doesn't it? What I'll get it? used like, to it. It's supposed to be salted caramel ice cream. Wow, we're about to put these in the oven. Look how good. It's just pita, tomato puree, the vegan cheese. Then we've just fried up some mushrooms, peppers and onions and then put a little bit of spinach on top. And basil. Oh, did you not put basil on yours? Or oh, did no, you put basil? I didn't. But yeah, we're just going to stick these in the oven now. I'm very excited to see how these turn out though. Wow, look how good these have turned out. They actually look and they smell incredible and it's crispy. Wow, we've actually done such a good job. Wednesday today I have just made myself a smoothie for breakfast because we're going for like a late breakfast early lunch kind of thing because as I said yesterday it's May's birthday today and we're going to LS6 it's becoming our group's kind of tradition to go there on anyone's birthday LS6 is a cafe in Leeds I would highly recommend it it's kind of like a brunch place and a lunch place like is that kind of food but they do amazing vegan breakfast vegetarian breakfast like it's so good if you live in Leeds and you haven't gone or you're visiting Leeds it's a great place to get food but that's where we're going this morning so I'm very excited for that but I'm trying to save myself for that that's why I've only had a smoothie and I've just made myself a coffee as usual as well Oh, actually, it's not even morning anymore. 
It is literally 2 p.m. It is Friday today. I know that I've sort of like dropped off this video a little bit, so I'm just gonna talk you through what I've been eating because I haven't managed to film all of it. So for dinner, me and Max had the Mexican rice that I bought from Aldi, then the tofu that I bought, and also just some spinach. And then this morning, as I showed you, we had breakfast and I had such a nice breakfast today. It was sourdough with avocado and mushrooms. Yeah, it is literally 2 p.m. That's all I've eaten today because we had such a lie in because obviously it was a bit of a late night last night, so yeah don't actually know how much i'm going to be eating today and i've got absolutely no idea what i want to cook for dinner i'm thinking maybe veggie chili but i do need to go out and actually buy the ingredients if i'm making that because i don't have any of them <laughs> actually freezing in the flat so excuse this weird combination of outfit but i'm gonna make dinner now it's half past six i was planning on eating a little bit later today but i've literally just got into bed and i've been watching netflix and i keep falling asleep so i'm gonna have it now because i need to actually edit this video and get it up in time for tomorrow so i'm just gonna have a really quick meal i've got a jack potato that i'm gonna put in the microwave and then i'm just gonna have it with beans and cheese and then i'm also just gonna do some vegetables as well because it just seems like i'm eating a lot of carbs today i'm well aware it looks like i've just eaten pure carbs so that's why i'm gonna do some vegetables but days after like we've been on a night out and normally like this to be fair i normally don't have the healthiest day ever because obviously your body's not in the healthiest state after drinking so yeah that's why but this is going to be the last meal of this vlog actually because I'm just going to do it Monday to Friday. I'm not going to do it over this weekend because, as I said, obviously I've got to get this video up for tomorrow and it is Friday today. Okay, so that is it for this video. It's been a slightly different one to my usual content, but I hope that you've enjoyed it nevertheless. And let me know if you'd ever like me to do anything like this in the future or if you've got any other video ideas that you'd like me to do. If you have enjoyed, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and follow my social media, which will be linked down below in the description. Bye, guys. <laughs>